Right then, folks. I'm at the, up at the memorial trees for the people that served in the war from Kilf and Holford. There's a little stone there in their memory, and these I think these trees are supposed to represent all the ones, all those people. I don't know if they died in the war or they just served. I'm not quite sure. I didn't say, but I think they were they were killed. Now, right over there, we've got Dalsborough Hill Fort, which I've done this year. I came down that track you can see there from the top of after having walked around it. So that's the hill fort there, great big hill fort, full of features you can still see the features even though it's got trees you don't have to destroy trees anymore then you've got greater hair nap there that's greater hair nap that ridge up the top there and lower down you've got lower hair nap the smaller one which you can't quite make out because it looks part of the big one the coombs going up you've got um Holford Coombe there, and along here you've got Hodges Coombe, and then branching off various places you've got Somerton Coombe, Slaughterhouse Coombe, Shepherd's Coombe, and uh, we're the other side of uh, Holford Green and Hodges Coombe. I've just climbed up this side. Right over there we can see Steepholme Island and a couple of boats dotted about as well. There's a boat there, look. And then just out there you've got Steep Home. And another boat there. There were more than that, I think, earlier. And of course Hinkley Point. Hinkley Point. Beauty and the Beast. There's the largest crane in Europe. There's one of the domes. That's A and B station. I've been inside B in the past. It was supposed to be decommissioned, but because of money worries, they've decided to uh, keep it going for a bit longer. Now, some trees were replanted because the cows came up and let the young shoots. It looks like that one's gone. It looks like these have gone as well, by the look of it. Yeah, all well, the ones with fences, because the cows were up here and they... They ate, and the deer probably did as well. But here we go. These trees were planted to commemorate the men and women of Holford and Kilve who served in the war 1939 to 1945. Then various people have come up and put little little pebbles around. Um, that's a quite a nice one, isn't it? That one there. Look, different uh, stones. There's a Christmas wreath up here. Now uh, they were a lot more colourful. Over the years they faded a lot of them. Somebody might get round to painting them again. So this is the memorial trees. I've just stopped here. It's also a very good view down to East Quantock Head and Kilve. Well East Quantock Head would be further over. And of course if we look at right over to the Mendip Hills, right in the distance of Mendip Hills, which I use, I've climbed all of them. I've been all the way along those hills, from Weston to Merles. Yeah, I've done all that. Cheddar Gorge, Crooks Peak, ah, area of outstanding natural beauty. And I'll be up there soon. Not today, of course. I'm now going to be walking, I might have to put my jumper back on. I decided to do Lady's Edge because I've done the Hodder's Coombe and Shepherd's Coombe twice this year already, if not three times. So basically I thought I'd do another way back, following the curves of Hodder and Shepherd's Coombe up on the top with the sun glaring into me. I have got my hat. Oh, Nick, where's it gone? Here's my hat. I've got my socks tucked in. So I did get a tick last week. It was trying to bite through my sock. 
I was at the station, I suddenly found this, um, after the walk, felt this piercing, biting feeling. And it was a ticket, claws a lot. It was biting, it just bitten through my sock, and it just scratched the surface. And I got it off. In fact, there were two on me. So the sock's tucked in, because what they do, they get in and they eat their way. See that, there's one. This one. They eat their way through the sock till they get to the flesh. So it's always a good idea to wear thick socks. Otherwise they're right in, on your leg. I put alcohol gel, <coughs> deep heat, and put sun protector on it. They don't seem to like that. Right, now we're coming to a, a point where I, there's a path further up, I went down and went through those woods earlier, where there was a good, great big group of people. Now I'm just seeing something that looks like a bus, now, that's probably one of the Minehead buses, they tend to be white, yeah, it's a white double-decker. I'm going to look it up again and see if they have put any buses on. For people because that is definitely a double-decker bus but it's a white one. The moment they have a bus on that road that's what that's the route I'll take in the future like I used to. In a minute I've got to turn off I just got to remember where Look at it, and it's gorgeous. The heather's looking a bit greener now. It's, not, it's not, not looking so dead and brown. It's coming alive, everyone, the heather. It's coming alive. I think I can see Cannington Church down there as well. It's not that far away, is it? Might not be Kellington, might be Fiddington or something like that. Yeah, so that's Higher Hair Nap and Lower Hair Nap and the Hill Fort. And we're going along one of the bridal tracks, leaving Old Foxton and Holford and going on a lovely walk. It's a, it is a lovely walk, I do like to do it. I do like to do it, and I don't really want to think about time too much. I've already consoled myself to get getting home later for a change. So, they don't look quite as perky, the trees, because they've got like 10 that need, that are missing. They do need um, restoring again, but they, they ought to stop the cows getting in there while the plants are taking off. Now we've got to turn off in a minute because we're not going up there. I came down from there earlier. So in a minute I turn off. I think, I hope, so. I hope we didn't make a mistake. Yeah, I, I was at the top of that hill earlier but I branched off and went down a track there to go through the wood into Old Foxen Park. <clears throat> Another big junction point here. So now I'm going to turn left in a minute. Go down there. Follow the curve round. Over and out. Now, look at this beautiful scene everyone. This is my gorgeous Quantock Hills. The Coombs. Look at that Coombe there. Lush in it. Lush. The last time I walked along here was in two, January the 10th, 2020. I'd been out for a big walk and something said to me, just do a bit of extra. I had no idea then that I'd be the last visit for over a year. 
for a good year because someone damaged my van and as a result of these these damages she failed the MOT she wouldn't have failed if people had left her alone and um, I, I saw deer and everything it was a beautiful walk that I did it was January it was a gorgeous day and something just said before I even knew about losing my van or anything Go and do a bit more, Sheila. Go on. And I did. I'm glad I did. Do you know what? It's baking up now. I'm glad I got me out on. Glad I got plenty of water. I'm a bit breathless because I, I gave myself two extra things to do a minute ago. <coughs> I, I got went off track. For a minute, I forgot my way. Just temporarily, though I knew it, but I just... Went down there too far and had to come back up. As a result, which made me a bit breathless. But just look at the beauty of this landscape, everyone. This is the one of the most beautiful areas here. Because these are all... These are all natural trees. Not some ancient trees. They're not designer trees, pine trees. This is very old Holford here. It's absolutely beautiful. It takes my breath away. And Wordsworth House, which I visited earlier, is the icing on the cake. And you can see why William Wordsworth and Coleridge walked here, and Wordsworth's sister Dorothy, why they were inspired when they were here. Because this has everything. These grasses turn like blonde hair later. Look at them, beautiful, blowing in the wind. Wild as the wind, said David Bowie. I'm just slowed up a bit because, I, because of that little breathlessness. I've just decided to relax a bit. Just soak up this gorgeous weather. This beautiful place I'm in. I've met some beautiful people today as well. People who are trying to restore Wordsworth's house of Foxen. Yeah, they, lo they loved it when I told them my sister had made some of the curtains there. And she was an upholsterer as well. And they gave me, well, they let me have a bit of tile. I think I've got a whole tile actually. And I'm walking along here in absolute peace, everyone. I just met a group of people. They all looked hot and bothered. They didn't know where they were. They said, do you know which way it is to hold first? They were about my age, maybe older. And they all looked a little bit... Somebody had the map, but didn't know what he was doing with it. And then I come along. Showed them the way. I've helped lots of people out, actually. Sometimes getting lost, you learn, though. You learn when you get lost. I seen a jeep up there a minute ago. Oh, he's coming along here now. Let's hope he's friendly. You get some of these farmers, you know. Yeah, no, actually, it's not coming this way. Look what it's doing. See, if I have my Sony, my Sony was, is so good at homing in, you know. So good at homing in. You can't see nothing with this thing. It comes out when you show it later, but at the time I can't see it. Oh God, I just can't, I'm, I just feel so blessed today. I bet you they would have let me join them, you know, that lot back there at the house. She was a real lovely girl, woman. Very nice. Such kind face, kind eyes, and uh, friendly. It was just so nice to see somebody friendly. But I'm not really one of those sort of people.
people really. I, um, I've got, a, I'm a lone wolf, I can't help it. I like people and I am gregarious in many ways. But I'm also like sitting on the edge, watching. Oh, I'm gonna turn off now folks for a little while. God, isn't it beautiful here? Sometimes the farmers come out just to keep an eye on their sheep and that. Or you get a vehicle like that because there's a hunt on. But I don't think they ever hunt this time of year. It's like a giant tick actually for driving along. Right, let me turn off for a minute.